Hi everyone. Let's solve this problem simultaneously. M plus um, mn that is m times n equals 10. This is the first equation, equation 1. Then n plus m is also equal to 10. This right here is our second equation, equation 2. Okay, so what do we do from here? From equation 2, what if we make m n the subject? I'm going to have 10 minus m. Let's call this equation 3 because we are still going to use that. Right? Now, it is equation 2 that bethed equation 3. So put this equation 3. Okay, so we'll put this into equation 1. So we're going to have m first, but n is now 10 minus m. Then there's 10 over there. We'll equate it to 10. Open the bracket to get 10m minus m squared equals 10. We should write the one with the highest power first. So we are picking negative m squared, then this is plus 10m, and this is equal to 10. To remove this negative, multiply everything by negative 1. So that will give this, make this to be positive m squared. This becomes negative 10m, and this, equal, um, this becomes negative 10. Now m squared minus 10m plus 10 is equal to zero. I brought negative 10 to the left. So the question now is, what kind of an equation is this? This is a quadratic equation. Now let's bring out our quadratic general formula. M here is equal to minus B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2 times a. This is quadratic general formula because it can be used to solve all quadratic equations. So now our m will be, first of all you need to identify your a, b, c. a is the coefficient of m squared, that is 1. b is the coefficient of m, that is minus 10. And C is a constant, which is positive 10. Do not leave out this negative when picking the value of B. Okay, so our M will now be negative. This negative is out. B is negative 10. Then we have plus or minus. We have square root of negative 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times our C is 10. So we'll divide this by 2 times 1. 2 times 1 is still 2. So our M now shall be positive 10. Negative, negative. Then plus or minus. Minus 10 squared is 100. Right? Then minus 4 times 1 times 10. That will give us 40. Right? Then we will divide this by 2. To continue with this, our m will now be 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 40 is 60. Then we divide by 2. Our next target is to see if 60 can be simplified. Okay, so m will now be 10 plus or minus square root of 4 times 15. That is um, 60. Then we divide by 2. So to go ahead, our m will be 10 plus or minus square root of 4 in there is 2. Then root 15. Remember, all of this is over 2. 
to go ahead with this our m will be 5 this is 5 plus or minus square root of 15 now this might confuse 2 into 10 is 5 2 into 2 is 1 and there's an invisible one here so this is a 2 in 1 value of m okay so our m is 5 plus square root of 15 or 5 minus square root of 15 because of this plus or minus now we were not looking for m alone we had um, n to look for and from equation 3 n is a subject then minus m okay this is our equation 3 so now that we know the value of m put it here so n will now be 10 minus m itself is 5 plus square root of 15 i've picked the first value of m so n is now 10 minus 5 minus root 15 so that n will now be 10 minus 5 is 5 then root 15 so this means that when when m equals 5 plus root 15 comma n equals 5 minus root 15 right so you need to put this again into our equation 3 which is still okay here we have one of the solutions then our equation 3 is still n equals 10 minus m so i will now go straight to the other value of m so n will now be 10 minus open bracket the next value of m is 5 minus root 15 so let's open this bracket again so that n will be 10 minus 5 negative negative will give positive here then we have root 15 to go ahead we have n equals 10 minus 5 is 5 then plus root 15 so from here again we can now conclude that when when m equals 5 minus root 15 comma n equals 5 plus root 15 so by this we have solved the equation completely thank you for watching if you love what you just um, watched subscribe to my channel so you can get more of my videos thank you